Welcome back, friends and scoundrels. I'm Bran. And I'm Lynn. And now we know what we're doing. Not that you would know what we're not doing. Yeah, not that you would know. We <laughs> tried to start this once already and missed. And didn't start. <laughs> um. So anyways, tonight we're playing the brand new Unmatched Adventures, Tales to Amaze. Mwahaha. <laughs> Wow, you're dumb. You triggered that. That's all your fault. It's not my fault you were triggered. Um. Anyways, uh, we had the community decide. You are faithful followers who we were going up against. So thank you to everybody who voted. We were decided upon the Mothman and the Schoon Cape and the Blob. I didn't have my cards out. Mm. I guess. I'm playing as Bigfoot. Because I have to show off my paint job. Show off mine? I'm playing as Robin Hood. Um, so, you're better at the description part. <laughs> oh, I am so not. <laughs> I've been talking, though. So? I'm always talking. <laughs> uh... So this is just like regular Unmatched, except we're working together to defeat Mothman. We only have to beat Mothman to win. We don't have to beat uh, the Blob or Skunk Ape. Uh, the initiative deck here decides what order we go in. Our cards tell us what to do. Rock, paper, scissors, light. Uh, I forgot to get the moth tokens out, so now you keep talking while I do that. Alrighty. Are we using the tokens or the figures? The figures. Um, so anyways, I want to talk about this initiative system real quick, because I really like it. I think if we ever get back to the D&Ds, might make little cards like that. That'll make things so much easier. Yeah. Yeah. Rather than worrying about all those pesky numbers and math and stuff. No, oh, numbers and math. But anyways, um, back to this game. I think you covered it pretty well. I did. There's threat that goes up. There's bridges that can be destroyed. So, yeah. Mothman's purpose is try to destroy the bridges. If all the bridges are destroyed, he wins. Mothman wins. Um, if we defeat Mothman, we win. Uh, not everybody needs to survive through the encounter. It's true. I could survive with just one lone outlaw. Yep. And then... Let's see here. I think that's it, isn't it? I think as far so. As, as far as the rules go that we need to. I suppose I can talk about Bigfoot. Got Bigfoot and my sidekick is Jackalope. And at the end of my turn, if there are no opposing fighters in Bigfoot zone, I may draw one card. I should probably set my health to where it needs to be. So after completing a maneuver action for this one, we can discard a card to activate a bridge that one of our fighters is adjacent to. We can only activate one bridge in a single action. If we're adjacent to more than one bridge, we can choose. Uh, that triggers its effect and removes doom tokens on it. Uh, equal to the boost value of the card you discard. So that, that is Bridges. And then Robin Hood's power is after you attack, you may move your attacking fighter up to two spaces. Robin Hood has some outlaws. They don't have any health. No, the outlaws all have one health. Oh. So they don't even have name tags. No. <laughs> They do not have name tags. You don't even have a name tag. You just lay down. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. I don't remember exactly how Robin Hood works. It's been a while since I played him. 
Yeah, we do. We have a better close-up camera, but we don't have room for it. This game takes up a lot of space. Yeah. You wouldn't know, but we're playing on a coffee table. <laughs> we are playing on a coffee table. <laughs> and now you know. <laughs> Ooh, nice. We'll have to get pictures of them. You can put pictures in the community part, right? Yeah, I think you can. Do it. You can put pictures in your community thing yeah. up here, right? Yeah. So put pictures up later. Of what? Your paint job. Oh, let's go. Or not. Don't be proud of it then. I won't be. All right. Are you ready to begin? <laughs> yeah. We're what, six minutes into us rambling? Yeah. <laughs> We've done a good job random, ran, randomly. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, I'm player one. Oh no. Doesn't matter who's player one. Well, it does when your card comes up. You are player one. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> All right. So player two goes first. That's oh. what I get for. You move so much faster than me. I did not take the opportunity to look at my cards, so I have no idea what I've got going on. Ah. <laughs> uh. Shut up. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's, I could be speaking here. I don't know what to say, though. I haven't had a chance to paint Mothman up yet, though. All right. Or the spaceship. I'm going to maneuver. Okay. One, two. Uh... One, two. One, two. I really don't know where to put these guys. No, either. Because you got to be careful with that blob. I do have to be. He was here, I, right? Yeah. One, I think two. that's fine for him. What? I should get him with that guy there. Gives you more guys to attack Mothman. Oh, he'll replace him when he dies. They only got one health, remember? And then I'm going to attack... Mothman. Oh, Merry Man. All right. Two. Three. Aw, uh, I failed. No, I won. I was yeah. looking at the wrong one. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. So, during combat. So it's increased the value of this card by one for each destroyed bridge. None are destroyed yet. So it's still two. <clears throat> After combat, he's defending, so his goes first. Place Mothman in the closest empty starting space. Uh, oh, crap. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Lowest number? Yeah. So he takes one damage for that. And then deal one oh. damage to each opposing fighter adjacent to your fighter, which I was hoping to get Mothman again, but I just get the blob. So the blob now has nine health. Forgot to set it. Mothman started at 19, or at 20, and is now at 19. Oh, I have to remember. I've been playing with so many melee fighters. I have to remember Robin Hood is not. Right. Robin Hood is ranged. All right. All right, that's me done. I did one damage. Skunk ape here he's going to attack the jackalope hmm. much as i like the jackalope i'll let him nope Skate. all right it's a hoax all right then so it's zero and whenever that goes in the discard so, that keeps the bad guys from running out of cards because their decks are tiny. Yeah. It gets shuffled back in. But mine is a regroup. After combat, draw one card. If you won the combat, draw two cards instead. Oh, after attack, you may move your attacking fighter up to two spaces. Jeez. I forgot to do it. It's too late. I forgot I can move after attacking. Uh, keep trying to skunk keep stunt. The blob. The blob. 
Uh, he's gonna attack this guy, so that's me. I don't know if I should just let him die or not, because he's only got... Well, they, they just come back, though, don't they? Sometimes. There's a card that brings them back. You got enough. To just let him die? Yeah. All right, I, I think that's kind of their point. I think so, too. I'm just going to let him die. All right. Uh, one. After combat, deal one damage to each opposing fighter for each acid token on or adjacent to their space. None. None. And then the Mothman. <laughs> so that's me. He's going to attack. So nice of him to come play. Don't have a lot of defense cards. Oh, hi, Logan. <laughs> Being caught up in playing. <laughs> Didn't notice you there. I'm sorry. Really? I've been talking to him already. Oh, have you? Yeah, that's what we were talking about, the paint jobs on your minis. Oh, I thought you were just talking. Yeah, to Logan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's do this. <clears throat> Immediately, if the printed value of the opponent's card is four or higher, ignore its value. Yeah, it's not. It's <laughs> All right. So I blocked it. And you're defending, so you go first? Yep. After combat, deal one damage to each opposing adjacent or fighter adjacent to your fighter. So that's one to Mothman. This is this is my jam. One point at a time. <laughs> we are right in your zone. Hey, it's how I win. And Mothman has an after combat. If Mothman won the combat, add a doom token to each bridge. He, he did not. All right. Well, I wonder who's next. Is it you? It must be. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I think I've got enough cards at the moment, but one, two, three, four. Well. Well. All right, I guess I'm going to maneuver instead here. And, jeez. Death by attrition. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to attack the skunk ape. I'll reach across to you, I guess. Yeah, except that's Mothman. Oh, yep, you're attacking skunk ape. <laughs> I know it's him. <laughs> Wow. Hey, I'm go. not even tired. What's my excuse? <laughs> Alright, so it's four to two. So he's gonna take two damage. Well, you've got a hoax card too. I do. Bigfoot's a hoax. <laughs> <laughs> you know that really worked out well that they voted Mothman when we chose to do Bigfoot. Yeah. Alright, so you're attacking, so def two. during during combat. If the opposing fighter is a sidekick, the value is five instead. Well, it's not. It's my main. All right. Then it's two. All right. So two damage. Two damage. Skunk Ape is now at eight. And oh. I've got... After combat, move your fighter up to five spaces. You may move that fighter through spaces containing opposing fighters. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Welcome to the party. Yeah, let's see if it matters. All right. So initiative's done. Now we go through the bottoms of these cards. Skunk Cape. Deal damage equal to the threat level to one hero or sidewalk adjacent to the Skunk Cape. Sidewalk. Sidekick. <laughs> oh, poor Jackalope. And then the Blob. Place an acid token in the Blob space if there is not one there already. Acid tokens, any uh, fighters that move through it take one damage. Do they have to stop there? Nope, just move okay. through it. And then the Mothman. Advance the threat marker a number of spaces equal to one plus the number of doom tokens on the lowest numbered bridge. So that's on one. So we go two. And shuffle the initiative back up. Though I will say, as terrifying as it is, Having the more initiative cards <laughs> makes it easier to shuffle. Yeah. All right. Skunk Ape. He's already there. Gonna get the jackalope again. Uh... 
Is Sarah down here? Uh, no. I don't. No. No, she is not. I think, uh, think I'm just going to let it go through. Okay. Coming at you with Back Into the Brush. That's three damage, and after combat, if Skunk Ape lost the combat, put its initiative card on the bottom of the deck. He won, so we don't have to deal with him again. All right. Then the Blob. Um, Bob's going to move here. That seems likely. And he only gets to attack one, though, right? Yes. Okay. I don't know if I want to defend, because I only have one defense card. I think I'm going to save it for Robin Hood. So we're going this guy. Okay. Two. During combat, add one to the value of this card for each. It's irrelevant. It is irrelevant. But uh, for each acid token in the blob zone. And then after combat, place an acid token in each empty space adjacent to the blob. Oh dear. It. Well, don't move those guys. Right? <laughs> They're trapped over there now. All right. I don't think I'm playing them correctly. <laughs> Speaking of playing, you. <laughs> Me! All right. I am going to maneuver... Which didn't get me any defense cards. And I'm ending my maneuver here next to this bridge. And I am discarding my outlaw card. Since I'm apparently deciding to just let my outlaws die. To get rid of that moth. So. Got you that. Thank you. A player draws until they have four cards. I've got four already. So. Do you have four also? Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. A little bit of a waste, but we needed to get rid of the moth because I forget what they do. Yeah. All right. I'm also maneuvering this guy here. Okay. As part of that maneuver that I didn't do <laughs> later. Thank you. And then Robin Hood is going to attack Mothman. Mm. I suppose I should do my job. I suppose you should. Three. Four. Okay. After combat, yours first, your defense. Uh, after combat, deal one damage to each adjacent opposing fighter. For each fighter damage this way, add a doom token to the lowest numbered bridge. Oh, geez. That's not great. I should have waited to get rid of those moths. <laughs> Didn't know. All right, so he takes one damage for me, and my after combat is draw a number of cards equal to the amount of damage dealt to the opposing fighter, so I get to draw a card. And I'm going to remember this time, after I attack, I can move, and I'm going to... One. All right. Uh, it's not necessarily my turn. It is, though. <laughs> <laughs> you just assumed it was going to be your turn? All right. Bigfoot is going to attack the Mothman. Now I'm taken from the right place. Okay. I should probably get over here. He's fainting. Ugh. Was it a good one? It's an extra damage. Mm. So he's only blocking two, so he's still taking two damage. Which leaves him at 15. Not bad. But mine was after combat. If he won the combat, deal one damage to each Vicer adjacent to Bigfoot. Then I'm going to attack him again. Got it. I got it. All right. Overwhelming <laughs> dread. It's two. Uh, during combat, increase the card by one for, for each, each destroyed, destroyed bridge. bridge. Nothing okay. destroyed yet. So two more damage. Two to thirteen. After combat, choose an empty. Oh, sorry. After combat, place Mothman in the closest empty starting space. 
which is here. That worked. And then mine, choose an empty space in this fighter zone, place this fighter in that space. And I think I'm going to go here. Stand between you and the Mothman. Well, it's a bummer he moved so far. He is now out of my range. And that's my turn. Which means it's Mothman's turn. Oh, he's back in my range. That's good. <laughs> and he's going to attack me. <clears throat> All right. A visage, visage of impending doom. Immediately, if the printed value of the opponent's card is four or higher, ignore its value. Immediately cancel all effects on your opponent's card. Oh, I didn't know you had an immediately. Okay. But it doesn't matter because... Well, but it, it, it does a after combat, though, too. Right. So I still take one, though. Yeah, you take one damage. Ah. What? I forgot about my special power, but I don't think it's mattered because he's melee and has to fight. It's true. It's true, it's true, it's true. I suppose that's why his cards are get away get away. Get away. Alright. Ready? Ready. I'm ready. It's me. No, oh, it's not my turn. Why do I have to be ready if it's not my turn? Um Mothman coming at you. I'm going to... One in four chance, it's a hoax. Attack. Unimaginable terror. All right, so that's four to three. Four to three. So he takes one. Now he's on an even number, finally. After combat, deal one damage to each adjacent opposing fighter. For each fighter damage this way, add a doom token to the lowest oh, geez. bridge. That's right, my dude's over there. He's got it. And that's damage for each of us. I'm not adjacent. We forgot to do... What? The bottom of the cards. Oh my gosh, again. I thought we were going to do good because we remembered it the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it was Mothman. Oh. Player one, player two, skunk ape and the blob. We have played this a few okay. times now. And we forget <laughs> every time... The end of round effects. Every time. So those two weren't there though yet, right? That's correct. Those were just added. Okay. Advance the threat marker. Number of spaces equal to one plus the number of doom tokens. So that's one, two, three. Okay. Now those go back there. Me up. Okay. And I give him his... Damage. Why are we so terrible at remembering? Now let me finish my turn. <laughs> hey, at least we didn't get too far. <laughs> I guess. Um, Hurry up, I can do my one over. point of damage. Let's show my bodyguard. see here what do i want to do i don't know what you want to do um i think i'm just gonna maneuver are you gonna stay and there and i'm gonna oh please need to go back here Are you going to discard a card to get rid of some moths? I think so. All right, what's your, what's uh, your boost on it? Three. All right, three moths. Three. And then I activated that, which means I get to drop to four, right? Yep, until you have four. Then you're okay? Yep, I'm good. Okay. Ooh. Got a good one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, Kool-Aid man. <laughs> Macho man Randy Savage. Stop it too, Slim Jim. <laughs> I, got two, I got two pretty okay ones. So, All oh, right. Probably should figure out who's going next. The Mothman. Probably. <clears throat> Mothman takes a turn. 
Ooh, nice. Uh, is it attacking me? Yep. Now one in three chance it's a hoax. But it's not, it's a feint. Cancel all effects on your opponent's card. Cancel all effects on your opponent's card. It's a cancel paradox. You just <laughs> fainted at each other. <laughs> okay. well, well done. <laughs> you know you know his tricks, apparently. The skunk ape. Gonna move here. Just gonna take it. Okay. Because I don't have anything to defend with. Back into the brush. Three damage. After combat, if Skunk Ape lost the combat, he didn't. Well, there goes my jackal. Oh, wow. He's only got six hit points. Hey, he's only got one, and he's still here. So is that one. But hey, at least the jackalope did something. This is true. Layout. Good job, jackalope. <laughs> I really, I really don't think I'm using the merry men right, but effectively. What are you? What are you supposed to do? All right, I, I don't have I don't... any of their cards. I've, I've got just a bunch of Robin Hood. The blob. Coming for you or him? Um. Mm, I don't know. It could come for you. It You're could. there too. Um. And even though I've taken the most damage, I've still got more hit points. <laughs> I know. Because I was on my turn going to discard to heal you with him. Mm. But if I defend, I'm, that goes my discard. I'm okay. You're okay? Uh, you have the ability to defend. I do. All right. We're going to do the merry man. And the blob. The blob. Faint. Oh. I'm sorry. Cancel all effects. Cancel all effects. But you're going to take two damage anyways. He dies. And it just... Uh, it didn't matter anyways. Deal one damage to each opposing fighter in the blob zone. But it was canceled. Oh, no. It was canceled. It would have. You I know. I know. I'm just reading it. He died to protect Robin Hood. died defending both of us he did all right so that must be you then that must be me i am going to attack the mothman <sighs> it's a hoax oh wow i was hoping it would come up for mine all right that's four damage to mothman and i get to draw a number of cards equal to the amount of damage dealt. So I get to draw four cards. So he is at eight now. It's a dumb card. Oh, I should have known because I pulled that card earlier. And... Mm. Why do I got to shuffle it? Because I'm going to do this. But I, I still have another thing to do. Oh. I'm trying to decide if I want to discard to get rid of that. Or if I want to attack Mothman again. Don't you have to do a maneuver in order to be able to do that? Yes. Did you? Do you have four cards? Man. Uh, I have three. Should I do that? Should I get rid of the moth, or should I attack Mothman again? Well. It's gonna destroy that bridge. It is, which means he'll move over here. Which means someone will have to go chase him down. Me. So what do you think? Do it. At least buys us a little bit of time, I think. All right. Then I am going to do that then. I am going to discard this 
because it really doesn't matter in this game to get rid of that and you can draw one card because I definitely have one. Okay. Now to this. Now to that. Advance the threat marker a number of spaces equal to one plus the number of doom tokens on the lowest numbered bridges. Do I? Uh, deal damage equal to the threat level to one hero or sidekick. Irrelevant. Deal damage. I think I think I messed up. Deal earlier. damage equal to the threat level to one hero or sidekick. Adjacent. Oh, adjacent. You, you didn't finish it, so I couldn't figure out why it was irrelevant. It's because no one's adjacent. Yeah. I think I might have messed that up last time, though. I think Jackalope probably should have died the last round. But I was just running on one. Accidental cheat. Whoops. Whoops. Place an acid token in the blob space. There's not one there already. All right. Ready? I'm ready. I hope so. Okay. It's me. Um... Um, I'm going to attack Mothman. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to attack Mothman. Let's hope that would get it. Your opponent discards one random card, adds its boost value to this card. Just the next card. Just the next card. It's random yeah. by, by being next. So two. two, so that's four. So I do four damage to Mothman. Okay, so he's at four. Shuffle that back in. Shuffle it, shuffle it, shuffle it, shuffle it. And I think... I think I'm going to attack him again. And I really hope that hoax comes back. Okay. Ready? Yep. No. During combat, your opponent discards one random card. Add its boost value to this card. Two. two. So I've got four. He's got two. Oh, no. Immediate effect. Oh. He fainted. He canceled that. Never mind. Oops. Read Mothman's card. Nothing happened then. Well, you didn't miss much. You just missed us messing up a little, <laughs> little bit of a lot of bit. So two to two, that's nothing. Okay. Bummer. Whoops. The blob. I guess you're taking it then. Oh, do you wanna? You're already set. Okay. Two, during combat, add one to the value of this card for each acid token in the blob zone. Oof. That's one, two, three. I'm blocking one, so I'm going to take two so damage. Five total. Oh. Three, so four, three. five. So I am now at seven. Okay. After combat, draw one card. If you won, draw two. I did not one, so I get to draw one card. After combat, place an acid token in each empty space adjacent to the blob. This isn't great. Blob is spilling all over the place over there. <laughs> me next, me next. Ah, bugger. It's Mothman. Mothman is this. I guess. <sighs> Alright. Okay. Unimaginable terror. So he does four. So it's three to me. Two, three. I'm at ten. After combat, you first. Draw a card. After combat, deal one damage to each adjacent opposing fighter. For each damage this way, add a doom token to the lowest bridge. So you take one damage. I do. Yep. I'm at nine. I'm at seven. But he's... Right. How much Mothman... How much Mothman he's health? At, he's at four. Mothman health four? For now. Oh, yeah. Well, I... Kick his butt. I'm going to maneuver real quick just to see. Yeah. 
Kick his butt. Kick his butt. Nice. And then I'm going to attack him. Thank you. Oops. Ready? Yep. <gasps> it's a hoax. Yes. Six damage. And that is Mothman. I bashed his dumb, stupid buggy face in with an overkill. That's got my good one. You did get your good one. Oh, I got three of those in my deck. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So that's it. We've defeated Mothman. That was honestly kind of quick. It's because we just focused on Mothman. <laughs> well, it's because we had the Merry Men to distract the Blob for a while. That too. And the Jackalope to deal with Skunk Ape for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've been playing out of the box. I've played with Tesla, but wanted to use Painted Minis. And this, yes. Uh, Cobble and Fog, these ones, and Muldoon. Yeah, Muldoon. And I'm two-thirds of the way through the Raptors. Yep, so we would have played out of the box, but everyone's playing out of the box, and we don't have those painted yet. Yeah. Because had this for like a week. Week and a half. Week and a half. We played it quite a bit, or though. No. no, we're not. still not quite a week yet, are we? Because we got it on board game yeah. day. Yeah, so we got it on Saturday. We didn't, we didn't get any destroyed bridges or anything. We didn't even get through the threat tracker once. Makes me feel like we messed up major things. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just, we just focused on Mothman and making sure to control the threat as best as possible. This is true. It's, it's the trick to it, when you can do it. Yeah. Some of our other plays, we weren't able to exactly focus on them because... Get surrounded by the minions. Mm -hmm. Bigfoot seems like a good one for doing these because he can move quite a bit. Because, like, the one I got to move five after this scheme, it crashed through the trees, moved Bigfoot up to five spaces. You may move through spaces containing opposing fighters, being able to move to any space. Well, Robin Hood's actually pretty good for it, too, because he moves after attacking. Which I never remembered to do. And it's the first time I didn't have the problem I've had. Every other time we've played it, I've had a problem keeping cards in my hand. I was going oh, through my cards. Yeah. But Robin Hood lets me pull cards, draw cards more, without having to maneuver so to do does, it. So does this one. So I kind, of, I kind of like Robin Hood for this game because I've had the problem with having cards. So I've had to maneuver a lot, but... Robin Hood kind of deals with that. There's only three Jackalope cards in the whole deck. There's any cards. I know. Um. So yeah, that was our first on-camera playthrough of Unmatched Adventures. <laughs> yes. I can't wait for him to do some more stuff. And well, I've only got four Outlaw cards. And they were all in my hand to Give us with. some more options. Be nice to get some ways to play some of the th ones that should be bad guys, like Dracula or yeah, almost anybody out of the Cobble and Fog box. But the T Rex I, would be a good one. I love this co op. Yeah, yeah, it's nice just throwing cards at each other and taking down the ticker, but <laughs> but I like co op. Co op is. My favorite, uh, my favorite games anyway. Because it keeps me from being mean, which I have a problem with. Age, age makes people forget stuff too. I was just so excited to do things. <laughs> Get so caught up in the game, we forget how to game. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I don't know. Anything else? No, I've said all I've got to say. All right. So, um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching us play this game, share it with somebody else you think will enjoy it as well. Uh, check out the eBay store in the links below. We'll probably oh. definitely play this one 
another time again, another time again. Where is my language today? It'll come up at some point. I suppose we should figure out what we're playing next. What are we playing next? Incoming Rebel Cat. Glow, Whoa. apparently. That'll be the third time. That'll be the third time. Should we pick a different one then? Since it will be the third time. So it can bring up Dice Miner? <laughs> it won't bring up Dice Miner. <laughs> Sagrada. Sagrada. All these games on here and it picks the same ones over and over again. I should change it so it doesn't do that. Change it uh, to uh, not repeat. Yeah. So Sagrada then. Sagrada then. It's been a while. It's, it's at least been a while. And till next time, let's roll. These aren't going to do it. They're not.